Hello YouTube, this is Todd Smith. I'm hit back with a quick tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you four tips that I found in GarageBand that really increased my workflow. I'm going to have more videos coming in and tutorials on GarageBand and workflow stuff, but these are four tips that I found right away that really set this thing apart. Tip number one is stacking multiple effects. Most of you know the effects pad and that you can lock various effects settings but some people probably don't know that when a setting is locked it'll stay locked if you flip and go to a new setting now this setting was already locked before as you can see but now I'm in my delay I can play with my delay even lock my delay and go back to my reverb and the setting is saved so you can stack as many effects as you wish this way. My second tip is reverse. You can play MIDI files and audio files in reverse. It's fairly easy. You just tap the file, you go to the settings, and if you, not if you notice reverse is an option here. If you flip that switch, your MIDI file, if you notice my file, swapped over to the left there. Whatever, if it's audio or MIDI, it'll play in reverse. It doesn't matter. The third tip I learned in GarageBand was how to snap off grid. Sometimes you want to unquantize the grid when editing audio in MIDI. Um, it, it just That's possible and you can do this. If you notice right now, if I cut my audio, it's snapping to the grid. Now if you wanted to break that grid you must zoom in and keep zooming until snap to grid is off. And once you've zoomed enough now you can go over and edit your file to the exact point that you wish. If you notice it now can go to any point so you can do a lot more exact sample cuts and stuff like that. And the last thing I found that's really took GarageBand to the next level is inter-app audio. GarageBand has some great m musical instruments, don't get me wrong, but you want more. Eventually you're going to want some more synths. If you notice here I have a Korg and I have a Sunriser, things that don't come in GarageBand. To add instruments that don't belong into GarageBand, you hit plus, and you add inter-app audio device. And if you notice now here, I have a list of all my synthesizers that I bought separately in my iPad. I click on one, and it adds a new audio track to GarageBand. As the Sunriser, that that picture starts off as a microphone you can actually edit that yourself or you can wait by with the icons button or you can the system will update it itself eventually to a sunriser picture so if this type of thing interests you synthesizers software jams tutorials or free patches subscribe to this channel thank you very much youtube and have a great day